something. By pastor's permission, the overseer of Gambia is in our midst now with the wife. Welcome, Pastor Adoniro. Adoniro. Welcome, sir. Mommy Adoniro. Welcome, ma. Welcome, ma. Thank you, ma. So, a brother in charge of testimony, please come and take the testimonies. Those watching online, or other states, all over the world, please follow through so you can get the best as well. A person in charge of testimony, Pastor, please come. For now, they will, they, will, they will testify themselves to make it authentic. Check number one. Mr. Lord, the Lord is good. I want to testify the goodness of God. My name is Mabel, all women. I from Obudu, region and five years ago I have a problem of ulcer. By the grace of God, yesterday night, as our daddy preaching, after preaching, started prayer. He said anybody late hand for the priest he have problem. I laid hands by my side. After I laid hand by my side. This problem it long to my back. I carry my back and put there. It long to my tummy. I carry my hand laid there. The later the problem I disappear. Amen. Headache I disappear in Amen. Jesus name. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm free in Jesus name. Five years also disappeared last night. Put your hands together. No, no touching. Nothing. Just a mere prayer from the pastor. That's all right. Tonight you get your own also. Next testifier. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. My name is Sister Agnes CG. I'm from Obudu region. I've been passing through West Bend for two years. But when I attended the crusade, Divine Connection, I received my healing. I say, may my healing remain permanent in Jesus' name. Two years West Bend disappeared last night. It's a miracle. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. My name is Sister Odo Mana Ma. I am from Egorinum district in a Sien town. By the grace of God, I'm born again. I had a problem on my bad sides. I had bad sides. But when there was a program, revival and miracle program, we received it at the same town. Then I was connected. God gave me miracle. The man of God preached and told us after uh, preaching that we should raise up one hand and touch the place of problem. I raised up one hand and touched my eyes and that problem went away. I received my miracle. I am grateful to God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Call her back. What do you mean? You're not clear. You beg. What is the problem, brother? The problem I had was bad sight. It started in 2020. I did not see. I went to hospital and had my glasses. But when the man of God prayed, I received my sight today. I'm no more using glasses. I am reading my Bible and prayed and said without glasses. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Abasia Yayao. Abasia Yayao. Amen. You will see wonders tonight. Yes. Praise the Lord. Children of God, praise the Lord. My name is Sister Grace Asian. I'm worshiping in Deeper Life Bible Church, 
by the grace of God, I was saved. Still saved. I'm Go from it, it. I'm from Uyo School Road. Uyo. So by the grace of God, God helped my life. Many diseases they put into my cell, my body. I undergo operation, laparotomy, three times. But the Lord saved me. I've been seeing myself in the dream, running in the forest. See two husbands in the dream pursuing me. Masquerade more than 20 pursuing me in the dream with their bows and arrow. So many things happen in my life. But when the man of God prayed yesterday night, I was delivered of my burden of sickness. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. She will trouble the devil. Shall we say amen? Tonight is your own night. Get them tomorrow. Get the sick here. And you will see wonders in Jesus' name. Yes. Microphone. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for what the Lord has done for my, in the life of my son. I'm Sister Felicia by name in Cape Breath District. 2007, my son had an eye issue. I took him to a teaching hospital. He was diagnosed and God helped him. He was saved. After then, he started having a stomach issue. When we went back, they said he has accessory spleen. He was booked for surgery. After a long while, they started having confusion among the doctors. They canceled the surgery. And I said I should go for heart x-ray so that they would ascertain the, the, the state of the heart. We were scared. So after some time, he started having heart issue. Sometimes he would sit down and shout, my heart is shooking me. Two weeks ago, he was so, so serious that I was scared that he's having a heart issue. But we thank God. When we heard of this program, we started praying, and the Lord saw us through. Yesterday, when the man of God prayed, after the prayer, he ran to me. He said, Mommy, I felt as if there's cold water in my heart, and it's not choking me again. I want to go and give testimony. Amen. And I told him, today you will testify. So I said, may the name of the Lord be praised in Jesus' name. Shall we say amen? We'll stop there. Stop there for now. Amen. The same thing happened when the pastor prayed from Abuja you know, last month or so. That's it. There was a woman there, a Musa, had a baby for three months. Then there was a mass, big mass. By the abdomen. Very, very strong and painful. The woman was dying. They booked her for, for surgery the following day. But she had of this program, that program of crusade you know, in Abuja. And then she came that, that night. The pastor prayed. The mass disappeared. Was, 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 I was there she, when she was giving the testimony. Tonight, you can't go back the same. Shall we say, I will not go back the same? Amen. If you're outside, come in, please. The choir now from Ghana. 